In this exercise, we're going to learn how to uh, set up an InDesign project correctly, uh, introduce you to the different workspaces that are available, some basics of page setup, such as setting margins, etc., and uh, how to place text and images. And what we're going to do is make something similar to this, uh, just a simple two-page document that has some images placed on it. And through this exercise, you're going to learn some new stuff here about InDesign. Okay, so here we are in InDesign, and so before we do anything at all, um, I want to like talk about the different work spaces that are available to you. So, and this is part of the assignment, so follow along. Go to Window, Workspace, and it's probably uh, defaulted to Essentials. Click Essentials Classic. Okay, Window, Workspace, Essentials Classic. And this is the Essentials Classic workspace, which was how InDesign looked for many, many years. And it's actually the one I feel more comfortable with, but that's neither here nor there. What I want you to do is take a screenshot of this screen here. As long as I can see this area of stuff up here, um, that's cool. I just want to see the, this menu bar that you, you know how to get to the Essentials workspace or pardon me, the Essentials Classic Workspace. Okay, after you take that screenshot, you're going to upload that as part of the assignment. Um, click on Window, Workspace, Essentials, and um, let me close something here first before... Okay, so here is the uh, Essentials Workspace that we've used so far in this course. Click on Window and Activate Layers. And I'll take a screenshot of this area. You could take a screenshot of the entire screen and upload it. That, that's cool. I don't. That's fine with me. But I want to see this this chunk here. So typically, when you're working with InDesign, the best way to go is to use the Essentials Classic or to use Essentials plus the Layers Palette. All right. So um, anyway, for this exercise, we're going to use the uh, Essentials Layers Palette. So take those two screenshots, uh, save them in a known location, and you'll be saving that for this exercise. And um, I'll see you in the next video.